So um, how do we read a DMRT table? Um, this is exactly the table that we are going to get um, from QE Suite. So QE Suite provides this table, and it's what we're going to calculate later in the video. And this is using the same exact data that we've already been using. And if you remember from our Tukey pairwise, ABBB, or one, three, two, four. Those are the exact groups we got last time. So we're looking good already. Okay. So the table is divided into rows for each treatment. You'll notice these aren't necessarily in treatment one, two, three, four order as they're put into the function. That's because again, they are sorted by the mean in decreasing order. And we're going to use that grouping column to determine which groups have significant differences. So if they share a group letter, that means they are not significantly different. For example, treatment 1 does not share group A with anything. So treatment 1 is significantly different from all other treatments. But treatment 3 shares group B with 2 and 4. Therefore, 3 is not significantly different from 2 or 4. And because 2 and 4 are both in B, 2 and 4 are not significantly different from each other as well.